Chiefs, let's hear it for this section. Yay! Okay. So all week long, we've been featuring talented teens from across the country, from a keyboardist to an extreme cake baker to a dog trainer. We've met inspiring teens who have very bright futures. So today, we're shining the spotlight on a budding fashion designer. Here is the lovely Diana story. Hi, my name's Diana. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Scarborough, Ontario, and I'm a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, I design, construct, and draft my own clothing. I also model it. Originally, I was more interested in the mechanics of the sewing machine and how it worked. It really confused me and it made me want to continue. What made me interested in not just sewing straight lines or zigzag lines on a sewing machine to actually designing clothing was my best friend's 15th birthday and she wanted us to all wear dresses and I played football and I played soccer and I played softball and I didn't have a dress. So I made a dress out of a sheet of fabric and a straight line and everyone loved it and everyone wanted to know where I got my dress and I was like, well, I made it. I think Diana's special because she can take something that's absolutely nothing and make it into a, a garment that she's proud of and she's not intimidated to wear and for people to see her. I'd say that my clothing line is very modern with a touch of um, very classic embroidery. It's very timeless. My studio is a really hectic small space, but it works for me. I have tons of different equipment down there. I have two surgeries, a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. I have my laptop with all my software on it and everything. So there's always different projects going on. There's always many things that I'm working on. So that's what makes it fun. A couple of months ago, I launched my website, so that was a pretty big deal for me. That was a big step forward. As far as sales, I've been selling to people I know and people that they know, so it's just a small community. But it makes me really happy because it shows me that other people other than myself want to wear things that I'm making. Well, it's an incredible feeling to see other people wearing Diana's clothes because, you know, that means her friends are supporting her too. One of my goals is to just be walking on the street and see somebody that I don't even know wearing my stuff and just be like, hey, you're looking good, you know? Like, I think that would be, that'd be beautiful. <laughs> Please welcome Diana, everybody. Yes. And Diana's parents are in the audience with us today. Very proud. That's so cool. Very cool. I'm so glad that your family is here to support you. They're so right they're always here to support yes. you. You're talented. Thank you. You love it. And I said to the other people that won this week, the other talented teens, you have passion. Yes. That is the key. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. So tell me about men's and women's wear, right? Yeah, I just started doing men's wear this year, but I've been doing women's wear for about three years. Yeah, that's so mm -hmm. exciting. And I love what you said when you see people wearing some of you know, your friends wearing some of your yeah. things. What a great... It's, it's, it makes me really proud. Yeah. Well, you're going to show us three wonderful outfits yes, today. I am. And we're going to start the fat Fashions by... Dan Is that the name of your... What's the name of your label? Von Gruning. Okay, there you go. Von Gruning. Fashions by Von Gruning. Please welcome Michelle. She's coming up first. Dress. That's a beautiful cocktail dress. There's Jeanette. <laughs> That's really pretty with the girls and everything in it. Very nice. Nice, Jeanette. And here comes Carolyn. Wow. You kind of almost put the embellishment of what a jewelry would be on the dresses. Wow. Wow, beautiful. Let's hear it for Diana. And I was just saying to Diana, yeah. you know, you, you have bling on each of these dresses. It's yeah. like you don't really need to wear any any jewelry because it's actually no, other really, dresses. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I love the I love the fact that they're it's it's very streamlined and mm -hmm. very feminine. They look really good in all of They do, don't they? they? Do. Are you yeah. proud? What I you? am. Look at she loves her work. That's a big Thank deal. You. <laughs> you know? Sometimes we look at her work and go, oh, not so much. I love everything about this. Sunny mm -hmm. Fong, a Project Runway Canada winner and designer, is with us today. We're very happy to see you. Thank you for coming today, Sunny. <laughs> oh, good to see you. So, first of all, let's talk about, congratulations to you. Let's talk about your label. And the name of your label is? Fox. And how's it going? It's going great. Great. I mean, it's a lot of hard work, sure. but we're getting there. <laughs> Good for you. Well, congratulations Thank on all you. that you do. So this looks pretty familiar to you, does oh, yes, it not? It does. So what, what kind of advice <laughs> do you have for Diane? Well, yay, Scarborough. Yay! <laughs> yay, Scarborough! <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
I'm from Scarborough too. So. Yeah. I like you know a lot of people across Canada don't know this, but I'm the Duchess from Scarborough. Are you? Awesome. Because I lived there for 16 years. It's a great, great community. Yeah. So, so let's talk about what advice that you have for her. Um, you know what? It really reminds me of when I started. Sure. Um, I used to cut on the floor. I didn't have as many machines as you had, but I think you're in the right direction. You're going. You're really going there. I mean, you definitely have a vision, yeah. and I think you really need to. Um, figure out who, who you're dressing. And I think with knowing that direction, then you can figure out how to design for that person and where they're going. So you, you're talking about like a demographic. I'm dealing with a woman who's yeah. in her 30s, that type that of type thing? That type of thing, yeah. Yeah. Because I think that really helps you decide, you know, how much to put on and how much to take off. Yes, that's And right. how to construct something. Um, like, for instance, if you're going to dresses for girls that are in their 20s, then you can go wild. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? And then if right. you if you're dressing someone who's in their 40s, right. you have to tone it down a bit and sure. you know make it subtle in your wildness. Yeah, and their wildness because we still over 40 want to be wild sunny. <laughs> yes, I do now. <laughs> There's no wildness that it. is just the other. <laughs> but great advice. You just it's stick to itiveness too, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. you really need to know, be more focused in okay. where you want to go and how you want to take your design. Right. Mm -hmm. And then and then construction is important because yeah. when finishing your garment, people will flip it inside out, put it on, take it off, and throw it in a wash or take it to dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. So for you, it's, I think the best way to know how to put a, together a garment is to take something apart. You right. Know? Yeah. And okay. that's how I've learned. Okay, that's know? how you've learned. And since you're self-taught, yeah. I think that's the best way. And go to stores like Hold Run Through and see what the major designers are doing. Right, and, right. And Flip it inside out and see what they're see, doing in there. We're looking at the outside. You're in there going, okay, how did they put this like, together? Oh, that's how they do it. That's okay. so cool. Yeah. That's so like, cool. But that yeah. stuff you can teach yourself and until you're like going to go learn how to do it. Right. That's the best way to do it. Thank you, Sunny, so much. And your parents are here. <laughs> Mom and yeah. Dad. So uh, you must be very yeah. proud. We're proud. We're proud. Very proud. So you saw this kind of talent at an early age. Did you any you know any insight about that? This was the direction she was going to go. Well, she was always a creative person. Yeah, at home right, and, right. and always putting things together. I guess when the fabric met the machine, we kind of knew. You kind of knew. Mm -hmm. she, has she made anything for you, mom? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. How about you, dad? No, she's working on it. There's she's working on the pieces, men's work. Yeah. A couple of pieces. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you yes, so much for coming in today. I love all the outfits. We, we know that you're very, very talented. That's why you're here. And we want to do our part to make your dreams come true. Right. Ray, tell us what is in store for Diana. Congratulations, Diana. Holt Renfrew is offering you an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with BP fashion editor Lisa Tant and access to their Toronto Fashion Week opening night event. You're also getting a $1,500 Holt Renfrew shopping spree to get ready for the big night. To top it all off, IMG is sending you home with two VIP tickets to their first ever Saturday fashion event that will close out Toronto Fashion Week. Welcome. Thank you so much for being yeah. a part of this. Thank you, guys. And, you know, we're going to see more of your fashions. I feel it. Sunny yeah. feels it. I hope so. Yeah, absolutely. I hope so. Yeah. It's going to be done. There Put it go. out in the universe. Thank you so much. <laughs> for more on our talented teens that we featured on our show this week, we're very proud to present them on Maryland.ca. And our superhero style makeover reveals are coming up next. Don't miss our special guest, host of The Amazing Race Canada, John Montgomery. <laughs>